But today it's day number two on our little tour of Kent and we've come to Canterbury and we're outside the Canterbury Cathedral I believe. Uh, as well as seeing the cathedral, we're going to hit uh, Canterbury Tales today. I'm going to show my old school, Chaucer, and we might do a little, little bit of shopping and the fudge shop just down there is a good fudge shop. The sun is shining and we're ready to go and hit Canterbury. So we've come to the fudge kitchen where Rob has indulged already in uh, some luxurious fudge here. Fudge. Uh, James showed up, well, told us how it's made. You can see just over there the big mixing bowl and also the huge slab that that goes on before it's all cut up into its bits and set here. And you can see some of the lovely fudges that they've got on sale. And it does look extremely yummy. Not very good for your diet, may I add? I was just going to say, this is obviously pre-diet. Um, this is quite a lot of fudge in there. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. the Canterbury Tales where you can go in and find out exactly all about Chaucer and his English literature. Now I don't know about you Rob but I had to do this in college so to walk back around there today was a real eye-opener and I thought wow I haven't read that for ages I might even go and pick up a book. I don't think I've been there since studying at Chaucer up the road but it's, it's amazing memories memories galore and again proves the point that we should be going and seeing more things and getting involved in more events across Kent. It's just things like this on our doorstep. Sorry. And if you haven't been around this attraction before, this is something for all of the family. You can get involved, there's an interactive experience as well. You can go and learn about all of Chaucer's tales. Right, it's Kenneth and Breakfast. We're here at Shepherd Inn with Laura, who's an amazing tour guide and has just totally blown our world to the point that we've got to film this. In this room right now, you've got loads of different brews fermenting, doing their processes. And, um, one of the things that, in a really arrogant, well, stupid question was, how many pints of beer roughly are in this room? There is how many containers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then something on the other side, 14, is that right? Yeah, something like that. We've got um, about 72 in total across okay. the whole site. Um, so these are just the inside ones for the bar fermentation. So we're, we're standing in the middle of how many pints of beer? Just over a million. So over a million pints of beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely nuts, isn't it? It's absolutely amazing, out of this world, incredible. And this is happening behind closed doors in Fabrician. Yeah, we produce about 1.3, 1.4 million pints of beer every week. Every um, week? Every week, yes. That's How long have, like, have, you know, Shepherd's Need been sort of going and... Well, 1698 is our official start date. That's what's plastered everywhere. But we have reason to believe that that was when the mortgage was paid off. And so there's actually been a brewery on this site dating back to around the mid-1500s. Wow. That's a lot of pints of beer. It is a lot of pints of beer, <laughs> yes. Well, we'll carry on our tour, but you know what? If you, you can come and see this for yourself, there's tours going on as we speak downstairs, isn't there? Yeah, there are. We run tours every day during the summer, um, and we stop doing them on Sundays from the end of October, but every day we've got tours, either on our website or on Now, as a Bacardi Breezer guy, this is amazing. 